Hello friends, welcome to the book summary. In this video, we will see the detailed book summary of The Porn Trap written by Wendy Meltz and Larry Meltz. Before entering the book summary, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel. Books link is given in the description. You can buy it from Amazon. Let's start. The Porn Trap, The Essential Guide to Overcome Problems Caused by Pornography by Wendy Meltz and Larry Meltz is a self-help book that focuses on helping individuals who are struggling with pornography addiction. The book is based on the author's experience as sex therapists, and it provides practical advice on how to overcome pornography addiction. The book is divided into three parts. Part 1, The Problem, provides an overview of pornography addiction and its effects on individuals and relationships. It discusses how pornography addiction can lead to distorted views of sexuality, body image issues, and sexual dysfunction. The authors emphasize that pornography addiction is not just a moral issue but a psychological and physiological problem that requires professional help. Part 2, The Path to Recovery, offers practical advice on how to overcome pornography addiction. It includes chapters on self-awareness, building a support system, establishing healthy boundaries, and developing a recovery plan. The authors also provide guidance on how to deal with triggers and urges, manage stress and anxiety, and rebuild intimacy in relationships. Part 3, The Journey, focuses on long-term recovery and personal growth. It includes chapters on self-care, spirituality, and developing a sense of purpose. The authors emphasize the importance of continued self-reflection and growth to prevent relapse and maintain a healthy and fulfilling life. Throughout the book, the authors use real-life examples and case studies to illustrate the challenges and successes of pornography addiction recovery. They also provide practical exercises and worksheets to help readers apply the concepts discussed in the book. Overall, The Porn Trap is a comprehensive guide to overcoming pornography addiction. It offers practical advice, support, and encouragement to individuals who are struggling with this issue. The book emphasizes the importance of professional help and personal growth in the recovery process and provides a roadmap for a healthy and fulfilling life beyond addiction. Introduction Pornography has become increasingly prevalent in our society, with easy access to online content and the normalization of sexualized imagery in mainstream media. While pornography can be a source of sexual pleasure for some individuals, for others, it can become a compulsive and destructive addiction. The use of pornography can lead to distorted views of sexuality, shame and guilt, relationship problems, and even sexual dysfunction. In The Porn Trap, we offer a comprehensive guide to overcoming pornography addiction. We draw on our experience as sex therapists to provide practical advice and support to individuals who are struggling with pornography addiction. We believe that pornography addiction is not just a moral issue but a psychological and physiological problem that requires professional help. Chapter 1, The Hidden Power of Porn This chapter provides an overview of pornography addiction and its effects on individuals and society. The authors begin by discussing the prevalence of pornography in our culture, noting that it is readily accessible online and in other media. They argue that while some individuals can view pornography without experiencing negative effects, for others, it can become a compulsive and destructive addiction. The authors explain that pornography addiction is a type of behavioral addiction, similar to gambling or internet addiction. They note that addiction to pornography can lead to a range of negative consequences, including distorted views of sexuality, body image issues, and sexual dysfunction. The authors also explore the impact of pornography addiction on relationships, noting that it can lead to shame, guilt, and secrecy. They argue that pornography addiction can undermine intimacy in relationships and make it difficult for individuals to connect emotionally with their partners. The authors then discuss the psychological and physiological factors that contribute to pornography addiction. They explain that pornography can provide a temporary escape from stress and anxiety, and can also activate the brain's reward centers, leading to a cycle of compulsive use. Finally, the authors highlight the importance of seeking professional help for pornography addiction. They argue that pornography addiction is not just a moral issue but a psychological and physiological problem that requires treatment. They encourage individuals who are struggling with pornography addiction to seek the help of a qualified sex therapist or addiction specialist. Overall, 
Chapter 1 of The Porn Trap provides a thorough overview of pornography addiction and its effects on individuals and relationships. The authors emphasize the importance of seeking professional help and offer a compassionate and non-judgmental approach to understanding and overcoming pornography addiction. Chapter 2, First Encounters In this chapter, the authors explore how individuals are first exposed to pornography and how early experiences with pornography can shape attitudes towards sex and relationships. The authors begin by discussing the common ways in which individuals are exposed to pornography, including stumbling upon it online or finding it in a parent's or sibling's collection. They argue that the ease of access to pornography in the digital age has made it more likely that individuals will be exposed to it at a younger age. The authors then explore the impact of early experiences with pornography on sexual development. They argue that exposure to pornography at a young age can lead to distorted views of sexuality and intimacy, and can make it difficult for individuals to form healthy relationships later in life. They note that early exposure to pornography can also lead to shame and guilt, particularly if the individual comes from a conservative or religious background. The authors also discuss how early experiences with pornography can contribute to pornography addiction. They explain that exposure to pornography at a young age can create a cycle of compulsive use, leading to a pattern of addiction that can be difficult to break. Finally, the authors offer advice for parents on how to talk to their children about pornography. They argue that parents should approach the topic with openness and honesty, and should provide age-appropriate information about sex and sexuality. They also encourage parents to monitor their children's online activity and to set boundaries around the use of technology. Overall, Chapter 2 of The Porn Trap provides a thoughtful exploration of how early experiences with pornography can shape attitudes towards sex and relationships. The authors emphasize the importance of open and honest communication about sex and sexuality, and offer practical advice for parents on how to navigate this complex topic. Chapter 3, The Porn Relationship In this chapter, the authors explore the ways in which pornography can impact intimate relationships. The authors begin by discussing the impact of pornography on the brain, noting that it can lead to changes in brain chemistry that make it more difficult to form and maintain intimate connections with others. They argue that pornography addiction can create a cycle of isolation and shame, making it difficult for individuals to form healthy relationships. The authors then explore the ways in which pornography can impact communication in relationships. They argue that pornography addiction can lead to secrecy and dishonesty, as individuals may feel ashamed or embarrassed about their use of pornography. This can create a breakdown in communication and trust, making it difficult for couples to connect emotionally and sexually. The authors also discuss the impact of pornography on sexual intimacy. They argue that pornography addiction can lead to distorted views of sexuality and intimacy, making it difficult for individuals to connect with their partners on a deep emotional and physical level. They note that pornography addiction can also lead to sexual dysfunction, including erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. Finally, the authors offer advice for couples who are struggling with pornography addiction. They emphasize the importance of open and honest communication and encourage couples to seek professional help if needed. They also offer practical tips for rebuilding intimacy and trust in relationships, including setting boundaries around pornography use and engaging in healthy sexual practices. Overall, Chapter 3 of The Porn Trap provides a thoughtful exploration of the ways in which pornography can impact intimate relationships. The authors offer practical advice for couples who are struggling with pornography addiction and emphasize the importance of open and honest communication and seeking professional help when needed. Chapter 4, To See or Not to See, The Consequences of Porn In this chapter, the authors explore the potential consequences of pornography use, both for individuals and for society as a whole. The authors begin by discussing the impact of pornography on individuals, noting that it can lead to a range of negative outcomes, including addiction, distorted views of sexuality, and relationship problems. They also note that pornography use can contribute to mental health issues such as anxiety and depression. The authors then explore the impact of pornography on society. They argue that the widespread availability of pornography has led to a normalization of sexual objectification and exploitation, contributing to a culture in which women and girls are often viewed as objects rather than individuals. 
They also note that the production and distribution of pornography often involves exploitation and abuse of performers and can contribute to the demand for human trafficking and the sexual exploitation of minors. The authors also discuss the potential legal and policy implications of pornography use. They argue that policymakers should take steps to protect children from exposure to pornography, including implementing age verification systems and restricting access to pornography in public places. They also suggest that individuals who have been harmed by pornography should have access to legal remedies. Finally, the authors offer advice for individuals who are struggling with pornography addiction. They encourage individuals to seek help from a professional therapist or support group and to take steps to reduce their exposure to pornography, such as installing content filters on their devices and avoiding triggers such as social media and online forums. Overall, Chapter 4 of The Porn Trap provides a thoughtful exploration of the potential consequences of pornography use, both for individuals and for society as a whole. The authors emphasize the importance of taking steps to reduce exposure to pornography and seeking professional help if needed, and highlight the need for policymakers to take action to protect vulnerable populations. Chapter 5, Partners in Pain In this chapter, the authors explore the impact of pornography addiction on partners of those struggling with addiction. The authors begin by discussing the emotional impact of pornography addiction on partners. They note that partners may experience a range of emotions, including betrayal, anger, and shame. They argue that partners of individuals struggling with pornography addiction may feel isolated and unsupported, and may struggle to find resources to help them cope with their feelings. The authors then offer advice for partners of individuals struggling with pornography addiction. They encourage partners to seek support from friends, family members, or a therapist. They also suggest that partners set boundaries around pornography use and engage in healthy self-care practices such as exercise, meditation, and spending time in nature. The authors also explore the impact of pornography addiction on sexual intimacy in relationships. They argue that pornography addiction can lead to a breakdown in sexual intimacy, as partners may feel disconnected and insecure in their relationship. They offer practical advice for rebuilding sexual intimacy, including setting aside dedicated time for intimacy and focusing on communication and emotional connection. Finally, the authors emphasize the importance of compassion and empathy in relationships affected by pornography addiction. They argue that both partners need to work together to rebuild trust and emotional connection, and that healing can take time and effort. Overall, Chapter 5 of The Porn Trap provides a thoughtful exploration of the impact of pornography addiction on partners. The authors offer practical advice for coping with the emotional impact of addiction, rebuilding sexual intimacy, and working towards healing and connection. Chapter 6, Hitting Bottom In this chapter, the authors explore the concept of hitting bottom, a common term used in addiction recovery to describe a point at which an individual is forced to confront the consequences of their addiction and begin the process of recovery. The authors begin by discussing the common misconceptions about hitting bottom, such as the idea that an individual must reach a dramatic low point in order to begin recovery. They argue that hitting bottom can take many different forms, and that the important thing is for the individual to recognize the impact of their addiction and begin seeking help. The authors then offer practical advice for individuals who are struggling with pornography addiction and are considering seeking help. They encourage individuals to reach out to a trusted friend or family member, or to seek support from a professional therapist or support group. They also suggest that individuals set clear goals for their recovery and take steps to avoid triggers such as social media and online forums. The authors also explore the importance of self-compassion in the recovery process. They argue that individuals should be kind to themselves and recognize that addiction is a complex and difficult issue to overcome. They offer practical advice for practicing self-compassion, such as engaging in mindfulness practices and focusing on positive self-talk. Finally, the authors emphasize the importance of a holistic approach to recovery, including physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects. They encourage individuals to prioritize self-care practices such as exercise, meditation, and spending time in nature, and to seek out resources for spiritual or religious support if desired. Overall, Chapter 6 of The Porn Trap provides a thoughtful exploration of the concept of hitting bottom and the importance of seeking help for addiction recovery. The authors offer practical advice for individuals struggling with pornography addiction 
emphasizing the importance of self-compassion, goal-setting, and a holistic approach to recovery. Chapter 7, Getting Motivated to Quit Porn In this chapter, the authors explore the important first step of overcoming addiction, finding the motivation to quit. The authors begin by discussing the common barriers to motivation for individuals struggling with pornography addiction, such as feelings of shame, denial, and the belief that addiction is a personal failing. They argue that finding motivation to quit requires a shift in mindset and encourage individuals to focus on the positive benefits of recovery, such as increased self-esteem, stronger relationships, and improved mental and physical health. The authors then offer practical advice for individuals looking to find motivation to quit pornography. They suggest creating a list of personal reasons for quitting, such as improved emotional health or a desire to be a positive role model for others. They also recommend setting clear goals for recovery and finding accountability partners or support groups to help stay on track. The authors explore the concept of mindfulness as a tool for motivation, encouraging individuals to focus on the present moment and practice self-awareness to recognize triggers and negative thought patterns. They also suggest engaging in physical activities and healthy self-care practices as a way to improve overall motivation and mental health. The authors also discuss the importance of forgiveness and self-compassion in the recovery process. They argue that individuals should be kind to themselves and recognize that addiction is a complex and difficult issue to overcome. They offer practical advice for practicing self-compassion, such as engaging in mindfulness practices and focusing on positive self-talk. Finally, the authors encourage individuals to seek professional help if needed, and to recognize that addiction recovery is a process that takes time and effort. They emphasize the importance of celebrating small victories along the way and staying committed to the goal of recovery. Overall, Chapter 7 of The Porn Trap provides practical advice for individuals struggling to find motivation to quit pornography addiction. The authors emphasize the importance of shifting mindset, setting clear goals, and finding support and accountability partners. They also encourage individuals to practice mindfulness, self-care, and self-compassion in the recovery process. Chapter 8, Six Basic Action Steps In this chapter, the authors provide practical advice for individuals looking to overcome pornography addiction by outlining six basic action steps that can help individuals move towards recovery. The first action step is to make a commitment to quit. The authors emphasize the importance of making a clear and definitive decision to quit pornography and to communicate this decision to others. They also encourage individuals to seek professional help if needed. The second action step is to educate oneself about addiction and recovery. The authors explain the biological, psychological, and social factors that contribute to addiction and offer practical advice for how to build healthy coping mechanisms. The third action step is to identify and avoid triggers. The authors encourage individuals to be mindful of the situations, people, and emotions that trigger the urge to use pornography and to create a plan for avoiding these triggers. The fourth action step is to develop healthy coping mechanisms. The authors provide practical advice for developing healthy habits such as exercise, meditation, and socializing. They also suggest finding ways to express creativity and passion as a means of coping with stress and negative emotions. The fifth action step is to build a support network. The authors emphasize the importance of finding accountability partners, joining support groups, and seeking professional help when needed. The sixth and final action step is to celebrate progress and practice self-compassion. The authors encourage individuals to recognize the small victories along the way and to focus on self-care and self-compassion. Throughout the chapter, the authors provide practical advice for each of these action steps, including specific exercises and activities that individuals can undertake to move towards recovery. They also emphasize the importance of taking things one step at a time, recognizing that recovery is a process that takes time and effort. Overall, Chapter 8 of The Porn Trap provides a roadmap for individuals looking to overcome pornography addiction. The authors offer practical advice for developing healthy coping mechanisms, building a support network, and practicing self-compassion. By following these basic action steps, individuals can move towards recovery and build a healthier and happier life. Chapter 9, Handling and Preventing Relapses in this chapter, the authors provide practical advice for individuals who may have experienced a relapse in their journey towards recovery from pornography addiction. 
The authors first explain that relapse is a common experience for individuals in recovery and that it should not be viewed as a failure or a reason to give up. Instead, they emphasize that relapse should be seen as an opportunity for learning and growth. The authors then provide practical advice for handling a relapse. They suggest that individuals who have experienced a relapse take a moment to reflect on what happened and what may have triggered the relapse. They also recommend reaching out to a support network, such as a therapist, a support group, or a trusted friend or family member, for guidance and support. The authors also emphasize the importance of self-compassion and self-care during the aftermath of a relapse. They suggest taking time for self-care activities, such as exercise, meditation, or creative expression, as a way to rebuild emotional strength and resilience. The authors then provide advice for preventing future relapses. They suggest identifying and avoiding triggers, building a strong support network, and continuing to engage in healthy coping mechanisms. They also recommend developing a relapse prevention plan, which includes specific strategies for identifying and managing triggers, as well as a plan for how to respond in the event of a relapse. Finally, the authors offer guidance for moving forward after a relapse. They suggest focusing on the progress made so far, rather than dwelling on the relapse itself. They also recommend recommitting to the recovery process and taking action towards building a healthier and happier life. Overall, Chapter 9 of The Porn Trap provides practical advice for handling and preventing relapses in the journey towards recovery from pornography addiction. The authors emphasize the importance of self-compassion, self-care, and support networks in the aftermath of a relapse, and offer strategies for preventing future relapses. Chapter 10, Healing as a Couple In this chapter, the authors discuss the impact of pornography addiction on intimate relationships and offer guidance for couples seeking to heal and rebuild their relationships. The authors first acknowledge that pornography addiction can have a significant impact on a couple's relationship including a loss of trust, emotional distance, and feelings of betrayal. They suggest that both partners must be committed to the healing process and willing to work together to rebuild trust and intimacy. The authors then offer guidance for couples seeking to heal after pornography addiction. They suggest that the first step is for the person struggling with addiction to take responsibility for their behavior and to make a commitment to recovery. They also emphasize the importance of open and honest communication between partners, as well as the need for patience, compassion, and understanding. The authors then offer practical strategies for couples seeking to rebuild trust and intimacy. They suggest setting clear boundaries around pornography use and establishing a plan for how to respond if those boundaries are breached. They also recommend engaging in activities that foster emotional intimacy, such as couples therapy, shared hobbies, or intimate conversations. The authors also offer guidance for couples dealing with sexual issues in the aftermath of pornography addiction. They suggest that couples take time to rebuild trust and emotional intimacy before attempting to re-establish sexual intimacy. They also recommend seeking the guidance of a therapist or sex therapist to address any sexual issues that may arise. Finally, the authors offer words of encouragement for couples on the path towards healing. They emphasize that healing is a process and that it takes time, effort, and commitment from both partners. They also suggest that couples celebrate their successes along the way and take time to acknowledge the progress they have made. Overall, Chapter 10 of The Porn Trap provides guidance and practical strategies for couples seeking to heal after pornography addiction. The authors emphasize the importance of open and honest communication, patience, and understanding, as well as the need for setting clear boundaries and engaging in activities that foster emotional intimacy. Chapter 11, A New Approach to Sex In this chapter, the authors explore how pornography addiction can impact a person's sexual attitudes and behaviors, and offer guidance for developing a healthy and fulfilling sexual life. The authors first acknowledge that pornography addiction can distort a person's sexual attitudes and behaviors. They suggest that pornography addiction can lead to unrealistic expectations of sexual experiences and can interfere with the ability to form healthy sexual relationships. The authors then suggest that individuals can learn to cultivate a healthy and fulfilling sexual life by exploring their own sexual desires, preferences, and boundaries. The authors then offer guidance for developing a healthy sexual relationship. They emphasize the importance of communication, trust, and mutual respect in sexual relationships, 
as well as the need for ongoing communication about sexual preferences, desires, and boundaries. They also suggest that individuals can learn to cultivate a healthy sexual life by exploring their own sexual desires and preferences, and by practicing self-care and self-compassion. The authors also offer practical strategies for developing a healthy and fulfilling sexual life. They suggest that individuals can learn to enjoy sexual experiences by focusing on the present moment, exploring their own sexual desires and preferences, and by engaging in activities that foster emotional intimacy, such as sensual touch, shared fantasies, and sexual experimentation. Finally, the authors offer words of encouragement for individuals on the path towards developing a healthy sexual life. They emphasize that developing a healthy sexual life is a process and that it takes time, effort, and commitment. They also suggest that individuals celebrate their successes along the way and take time to acknowledge the progress they have made. Overall, Chapter 11 of The Porn Trap provides guidance and practical strategies for individuals seeking to develop a healthy and fulfilling sexual life. The authors emphasize the importance of communication, trust, and mutual respect in sexual relationships, as well as the need for ongoing self-exploration and self-care. Chapter 12, True Freedom and Fulfillment In this chapter, the authors explore how overcoming pornography addiction can lead to true freedom and fulfillment in life. The authors begin by discussing the negative impact that pornography addiction can have on a person's sense of freedom and fulfillment. They suggest that pornography addiction can create a sense of shame, guilt, and self-doubt that can lead to feelings of disconnection and isolation. They also suggest that pornography addiction can interfere with a person's ability to pursue their passions and goals, leading to a sense of unfulfilled potential. The authors then discuss how overcoming pornography addiction can lead to true freedom and fulfillment. They suggest that by breaking free from the cycle of addiction, individuals can reclaim their sense of agency and take control of their lives. They also suggest that overcoming pornography addiction can help individuals to rediscover their passions and goals and to pursue them with renewed vigor. The authors offer guidance for cultivating true freedom and fulfillment in life. They suggest that individuals can cultivate a sense of freedom by practicing self-compassion and by engaging in activities that foster a sense of joy and fulfillment. They also suggest that individuals can cultivate a sense of fulfillment by connecting with others, pursuing their passions, and finding meaning and purpose in life. Finally, the authors offer words of encouragement for individuals on the path towards true freedom and fulfillment. They emphasize that overcoming pornography addiction is a journey, and that it takes time, effort, and commitment. They also suggest that individuals celebrate their successes along the way and take time to acknowledge the progress they have made. Overall, Chapter 12 of The Porn Trap provides guidance and encouragement for individuals seeking to cultivate true freedom and fulfillment in life. The authors suggest that by breaking free from the cycle of addiction, individuals can reclaim their sense of agency and pursue their passions and goals with renewed vigor. They also offer practical strategies for cultivating a sense of freedom and fulfillment, and words of encouragement for individuals on the path towards true freedom and fulfillment. Conclusion in the conclusion of The Porn Trap, Wendy Meltz and Larry Meltz summarize the key points of the book and offer words of encouragement for those struggling with pornography addiction. The authors emphasize the importance of recognizing the power of pornography addiction and taking proactive steps to overcome it. They suggest that pornography addiction is not a personal failing or a moral weakness, but rather a complex and challenging problem that requires attention and effort to overcome. The authors also highlight the importance of seeking support from others, whether it be from a therapist, support group, or loved ones. They suggest that finding a community of people who understand and support the recovery process can be an invaluable source of strength and motivation. Finally, the authors offer words of hope and encouragement for those on the path towards recovery. They suggest that while overcoming pornography addiction is not easy, it is possible with dedication, perseverance, and support. They also suggest that recovery is a journey, and that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of the process. Overall, the conclusion of The Porn Trap provides a hopeful and empowering message for those struggling with pornography addiction. The authors emphasize the importance of taking proactive steps towards recovery and seeking support from others, and offer words of encouragement for those on the path towards healing and freedom. Books link is given in the description. You can buy it from Amazon. Thank you for watching.
The Financial Freedom is the book written by me. In this book, I explain the pillars of personal finance and step-by-step -step guide to achieve the financial freedom. In this book, I have explained how rich get richer and poor get poorer with examples. Also I have explained how much money required to achieve financial freedom using 4% rule. This book's link is given in the description. You can buy the book using that link.